Hello community! Today, look where we are today. San Francisco, West Coast, United States. And there in Silicon Valley, at the heart of Silicon Valley, I would like to show you something that I just learned. There is a school, a very, very interesting school. And you're never gonna believe me, it is called Khan Academy and we have here some pixel mistake, but never mind. This is the school I would like to show you today. And you might ask, hey, what is so specific about this school? Let's go to the website. It is called Khan Lab School. And if you look at it, it is for school children. And if you have a further look here about Khan Lab School, we're on the homepage. It is not sponsored in any way. I just find it fascinating. Look at here the marketing material Can Lab School provides to parents. Small schools, sizes, highly interactive groups. Looks fascinating. I think you have all the possibility for your child, if you are a parent, that you pay 30,000 US dollars as a tuition fee. And in plus, you can donate, as they mentioned here specifically, for the community. But you see amazing opportunities. If you look at what makes us different, look at this. When I was a child, I had never ever such an amazing opportunity at a very young age to have not only here computers and, and get familiar with this, but there's one in particular, one thing in particular I would like to draw your attention to. And this is the AI system they use for school children to learn today. And this is in operation for months now. So let's go here. I found an article by the New York Times. You know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a, a long, long learner. June 8, 2023, New York Times, about a new AI tutoring bot developed by the Khan Academy in collaboration with OpenAI. It's based on the GPT-3 model, yes, beautiful. It's based on the GPT-4 model right now when you see this video, but never mind. And it highlights here the potential of AI in education, in personalized learning experience for school children, which, my goodness, they are so far ahead of me. Yeah, and this thing, if you're interested, is called Can Migo. Think uh, like amigo, can me go? Okay. And I said, hey, what is it based on the article by the New York Times? And GPT-4 comes back and says, can me go is an experimental artificial intelligence guide developed by Khan Academy. It is designed to assist users, in our case, school children, in their learning journey on the platform. Accessible from any of the Khan Academy content pages, you know, Khan Academy, world famous, really great place to learn online tutoring. And now they have here this cooperation with OpenAI's ChatGPT to provide, this is the goal, a more interactive and personalized learning experience to our school children. I think it is amazing. So they give you here the Khan Academy. Khan Academy Guide to Khan Migo. And you have also a video by Khan Academy founder, Sal Khan. So you can summarize. And I said, amazing. So I said, hey, listen, can you summarize it in a way that in a normal way, like you do on ChatGPT? And then the second version here from the perspective of a parent. And maybe the parent is not so much AI affine has not so much knowledge about AI, or maybe this person is just a little bit critical for the application of an experimental AI education system for his child. So, GPT does a great job, says, summary, the use of Conmigo experimental chatbot tutor Khan Academy in classrooms. It is designed to simulate a one-on-one -on -one human tutoring, providing personalized assistance to students. Now, students are very young school children, up to, I think, university, I don't know. But if this really works out, you can apply it everywhere. 
at every learning stage. So currently being tested in Khan Lab School in Palo Alto, California, and other districts including Newark Public School in New Jersey. Wow, New Jersey, hello. Can give students guide through problems step by step and congratulate them upon solving problems. There might be some potential errors, some cheating. Well, of course, always cheating. Diminishing the role of teachers. Oh, and hindering critical thinking. Oh, as a monitoring system to alert teachers if students seem fixated on issues like self-harm. Okay, so for the parents' perspective, the article talks about an AI chatbot being used in classroom, which is, for some parents, this might raise some concerns. While it is impressive that this tool can help children with their lessons, it is worrying that it's still experimental and being tested on children. I mean, this is what GPT-4 is telling us. The bot can make mistakes, which could lead to misinformation and confusion. It is also potentially encouraging cheating. Well, I don't mind. Cheating is everywhere. And reduce the importance of human teacher. Now, this is something, if you, if you lose the human touch in school, I mean, the counter argument would be, hey, what if you have a really bad teacher? Yes, it should happen. What happens then? This is also considering that this tool might be used to replace the human interaction, maybe in the long run, and the emotional support that teachers can provide to school children. As a parent, I would be cautious about the use of experimental technology in my child's education. And I think, and knowing this, and I think those people living in Silicon Valley, in San Francisco, I think they have a knowledge about AI. Maybe they work for AI companies and they are paying $30,000 plus tuition fees just to bring their, their children into those schools with those experimental technology. So amazing. I see that I'm so old fashioned. I'm light years behind what is currently happening in the US. I'm sitting here in Europe and you know, in my country, we are talking about, is it safe if you use AI powered application in the life of adults? And here in Silicon Valley, you use it on five and seven year old children. So my goodness, I'm behind. Amazing. So I say, hey, what are the potential threats to experiment with the education of children? What are the positive and the negative sides? And I use here GPT-4 and I think it is not at all unreasonable. So what are the positive aspects of this? As, at first, I think Khan Academy is doing a great job and they are experimenting with this new technology in their own schools, in a controlled environment with, I suppose, a lot of teachers taking care about the children. So I don't think this is an unsafe place where this experiment is happening. It just shows you that AI is taking care in every sector of our life. And that it starts here with school children, I would say one of the most sensitive sectors, the educational sector in our society. Uh, well, yeah, interesting. So positive aspect, innovation. Experimentation can lead to innovative teaching methods and tool that can significantly improve the quality of education can provide personal learning experiences. This is great. Make education more accessible. Imagine wherever you are in the world in some years, you might be able to access this to learn whenever you have time for it. Give them your basic knowledge. They build upon your knowledge. They help you to learn. Engagement, new technology and teaching methods can make learning much more engaging and fun for students. Improve motivation leads to better academic outcomes. The personalization. Experimentation can lead to more personalized learning experiences. AI can adapt to the learning pace and the style of the students, as I told you, making education more effective for everybody. And if this system somehow will be available, hopefully free of charge, for a lot, a lot of people all around the globe. 
children all in all continent maybe because i know khan is a non-profit this would be an amazing positive effect preparation for the future experimentation can help prepare students for the future by familiarizing them with the new ai technologies and ways of learning and working if you or interacting with an AI technology at the age of five or seven or ten years, my goodness, the next generation will have opportunities. Amazing. Okay, but there are also negative aspects. The risk of failure. Not all experiments are successful. We can learn from failed experiments, yes, but yeah, it could potentially harm here the evolution of a student's educational path. New technologies and teaching methods may not be accessible to all students. What if you do not live in Silicon Valley? What if you do not pay 30,000 plus US dollars plus donations for the education of your school children? Not all students have access to the technology needed for online learning. Data privacy. Now, I've read that Khan Academy does really take care about data privacy. So I think. Data, but in general, data privacy could be a topic for privacy concerns about your personalized data, the data of your child. Depersonalization. This sounds interesting. While technology can personalize learning to some extent, it can also depersonalize education by reducing the human interaction in the learning process. This can negatively impact students' social development and their emotional well being. Is an AI to compensate or notice the emotional well being? There are pro and cons for this. Reliability. New technology, especially those based on AI, can make mistakes or provide inaccurate information. You see this everywhere. Look here, last line. This can lead to confusion and misinformation, especially if you are a child. In conclusion, while experimentation can lead to significant improvements in personalized education, it's important to approach it with caution. And this is this is more or less what I thought. You know, my first feeling was, wow, the education sector of children, we should be a little bit more cautious about it. It is crucial to ensure that new technologies and methodologies are tested thoroughly before they are widely implemented and that they are used as a supplement to rather than a replacement for traditional teaching methods. Now, it will be very interesting to see how this last sentence will hold up in the next one or maybe two years. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope it was a little bit informative for you.